The world changed dramatically during the 1990s, and NATO has changed too, to a new strategy of crisis management and peace support operations, and to a new structure which also involved the inclusion of new member nations. NATO has begun the new millennium. NATO has built a new comprehensive security system for the future, together with its former adversaries. And AWACS, NATO's airborne early warning and control system, plays a key role in it. AWACS fast, continuous data flow on the air and sea situation is indispensable for NATO's military and political leadership. The basic question is, what is happening and where? AWACS provides quick and reliable answers. The mission is controlled and coordinated for NATO's strategic commanders by the headquarters of NAEW and Sea Force Command located at Mons in Belgium. Attention in the op center. We just learned that Magic 3-9 is returning to traffic with engine problems. Go ahead. The force commander can deploy the aircraft of NATO's E-3A component based at Geilenkirchen, Germany, and the Royal Air Force's E-3Ds based in the United Kingdom. NATO thus has the ability to deploy an airborne warning, control and surveillance network throughout the alliance and can also monitor territory Magic beyond its borders. Be moved in to cover exercise sea guard for the time being. AVEX is a defensive system. 13 different nations working for AVEX all together hand in hand. It's always available anytime throughout the year and it is more than necessary to have a system like that. You see it actually with the crisis in the former Yugoslavia. In the 1970s, NATO identified a gap in its air defense system. The ground-based radar sites stretching from the North Cape to eastern Turkey were unable to detect low-level, high-speed aircraft early enough to provide sufficient warning. As a consequence, the NATO AWACS program was established in 1978. Check the uh, weapons manager back brief me on any activity. That's EDFA, we'll go. The participating NATO nations chartered a management organization, the NAPMO, to oversee the program. A fleet of E-3A aircraft was procured and equipped with then state-of-the-art radar and computer technology. Bases were established, ground radar sites modified, and interoperability was assured. This initial program cost a total of $3.8 billion, making it the costliest at the time in the history of the alliance. I think we can address a lot of issues today. A special agency was created as part of the NAPMO to manage the program on a day-to-day -day basis in cooperation with industry. The name of this executive agency is NAPMA. Today, it manages the ongoing modernization of the NATO AWACS aircraft. So we're very positive about that change. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, at this time, I think it's important that we review... The near-term modernization of the aircraft fleet in the 1990s cost several hundred million dollars. And if we could review it on the board now. ESM is a passive detection system. Targets can be identified automatically. A new generation of radar hardware and software detects smaller targets at a longer range. All this detailed information will be transmitted to other users in less time by Link 16. And this large amount of information can be more easily assessed. This modernization program is a significant improvement for the crew and their mission. We have just concluded the near-term modernization program. Now in uh, light of new experiences uh, the NATO strategic commanders had decided to uh, reprioritize their requirements 
and request a new midterm modernization program. We have a couple of very important technical measures and improvements. The core piece is the improvement of the interaction between the mission operators and the sensor system on board. The midterm program is based on the financial agreement with the nations and it costs in the vicinity of 1 billion US dollars. We have established uh, procedures and agreements that our nations participate directly in the development, the production, the integration and the maintenance of the system. And due to that participation, they obtain a significant return for their financial contributions. The headquarters and main operating base of the E3A component and its 2,800 people is in Geilenkirchen, Germany. But AWACS mission area covers all of NATO's territory. For this reason, there are other air bases. Orland in Norway, Trapani in Italy, Aktion in Greece and Konya in Turkey. They enable AWACS to operate at its maximum range and with greater flexibility. The E3A, with its characteristic flat radar dome, is a modified Boeing 707. It can remain in flight for more than 10 hours. It is the airborne component of NATO's air surveillance and control system and an hey, integrated copy. part of NATO's air defense. Uh, we got station as soon radar as ready. TDSE, radar and link operation at time 1428. Flying at 30,000 feet, its radar covers an area of 312,000 square kilometers, an area almost the size of Germany. Its radar can detect aircraft, even at very low level, to a range of more than 350 kilometers. Sophisticated computers control the radar, filter out ground clutter, and detect and track targets. They pass their data to ground stations, aircraft, and ships in real time. But even more important are the flight and mission crews. The tactical directors lead the mission crew and are responsible for the effective operation of this airborne surveillance and control aircraft. The surveillance controllers and their teams evaluate and analyze data, while the flight allocator and the weapons controllers guide NATO fighters. Left it to finish, completed. Together with the flight crew, they form a diverse mix. Highly motivated, experienced, and very professional. Air refueling enables AWACS to extend its range and on station time. This delicate flight maneuver, catching the boom at 280 knots, just six meters apart, calls for special skills. 1077 uh, Magic 03, you still have your uh, lower strobe on. Everything's clear. It's Magic 03, oh, well. yes, yeah, set, set, Black Star 03. Now oh, you're perfect. That's perfect for me. And he's reaching. Contact. Set, set, contact. Take a few. Affirmative. Disconnect. Within minutes, AWACS tanks are refilled to carry on its mission. Canvas Magic 4-1. Tracking uh, Hotel Mike 031, position 5820 north. The radar zero, zero, and the computer zero, zero, work together to detect and display hundreds of radar contacts, combined with the E3A's data and stored maps. This is how the air picture is generated. Magic 41, request ID, on track Hotel Mike 031. Data on unidentified radar zero, contacts are checked with ground stations or okay, ships. I see them. Contact Copenhagen Center and ask for any information. If the response is negative, then unidentified aircraft become oh, oh. bandits, Scramble. air defense Scramble. targets. Control. Channel 10, heading 340, gate climb 5,000 feet. Six hundred feet. 
still descending. Lost contacts. Channel one zero. Your control. Okay, FA. Moonbeam Purple is coming to you on channel ten. Their mission. The tactical director sets the priorities and hands over the targets to the fighter allocator. Four one. Radar contact. Vector three four zero. Now it is up to him and his team. Moonbeam. Bandit bearing three five zero at one hundred and ten miles. Tracking one nine zero. Altitude low. Your mission. Visual identification. Magic uh, multi purple copies heading north, level at 5,000 feet. Lead is picture clear. Roger Moonbeam, your contacts are the bandits. Cleared VID. Lead is Talio. Magic Air Moonbeam identifies the two German tornadoes. No assistance required. Good job of tracking surveillance and weapons. Nice interception. Surveillance and well, control for air defense are the NATO AWACS traditional tasks. But AWACS inherent operational potential can be effectively applied to other types of mission. During the Gulf crisis in the early 1990s, NATO AWACS missions were flown daily over Turkey and the Eastern Mediterranean to protect NATO territory and its area of interest. Since 1992, employment of AWACS in successive crises in the area of the former Yugoslavia has demonstrated its vital contribution to crisis management and peace support operations, politically, strategically, and operationally. NATO AWACS exemplifies the ideals of this alliance, nations working side by side in a total team effort. Force Command and its people rose to the challenge. Magic is your call sign Magic is what you delivered, and thus readied your component for the 21st century challenges. I recognize that your mission never ends.